to when I when I started uh, school here in Oregon uh, wasn't very diverse, and the, and the diversity wasn't large. So there wasn't a huge Latino population. There wasn't a huge uh, African American population. It was kind of the mixed table, the the mixed kids at at lunch, uh, and so interacting with with people from um, Ukraine and and African Americans and Asians and and the Latinos um, really taught me to be proud of my heritage and where I came from, but at the same time realized that there wasn't a lot of diversity around me. Uh, and so I feel like I carry that into the workplace now where I try to connect with people that not, not just look like me, but, um, but also look for those differences and, and those opportunities to connect with others uh, because of their culture and where they come from. Be humble and be, be giving, and no matter the situation and, and uh, the experience that I'm going through. Uh, so she always showed, um, she always exemplified leadership by the way that she acted, and she's been one of my biggest role models. And so watching her humility, no matter what she does, has taught me to be giving and to be humble uh, in the different leadership roles that I've had, and to always look behind me to see who's next and who I can lend a hand to. I, I feel like we've all been battling against these systems that have been created that have been here well before our time and therefore we think that we have to stay stuck in these silos where education can't communicate with the business world where government can't communicate with the community and so we have representatives from those different places we just have to find um, common ground to come together and then really unify it. Uh, having a common voice and coming together creates uh, leverage and um, the opportunity for people that have never collaborated with each other to come together and create new things. Uh, I think taking that entrepreneurship mindset and um, applying it to the systems that are in place will create some opportunities for our community to grow and really flourish uh, in many different sectors. We need to continue the work and as we're supporting each other in the workplace, we also need to turn around and see who's coming next and who the next generation is. So, uh, one of the ways that I've really learned about myself and about ways that I can help my community is by mentoring. Uh, so I tell my mentors to turn around and look at younger kids that they can mentor. So the college students that I talk to, I say, what elementary school kids are you talking to to show them that college is a reality? And so on and so forth. And inspiring others to, to really do their best. I've had the opportunity to build meaningful relationships that go deeper than just a business card and a, and a handshake and maybe a follow-up email. Uh, and so the relationships that we've built in, this, in the past few months that we've been getting together uh, are, are timeless. Uh, they've already proven to be fruitful for everybody in the group. Uh, relationships are, are being formed outside of, of the setting that we of the monthly settings that we have, and we have the opportunity to bring work and our personal life together to support the things that we're all doing and the, and the things that we're all passionate about. Mm -hmm.